Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Playoffs Season 53 first round match between Caprion and his vampires up against Paul and his humans. Will Paul concede um, on turn three? Let's find out. <laughs> Uh, not me, Zalu, do I? No. <laughs> I don't need sausage rolls either. It'd be eating chicken and rice. Do you even do you even pay attention on this channel? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, fault Fox. <laughs> I could do egg recipes. I could do um. I could do a masters on egg recipes. There you go. Right, so things are happening. Caprion has a big vampire team. Uh, Paul has a human team that has a wizard. So it's a pretty good human team, isn't it? Um, uh, is it a pretty good human team? It's a pretty average human team. Got some guards. Got a tackle bomber. Uh, it's a pretty shit human team, actually. Um, it's a pretty decent vampire team. Uh, hate this, by the way. I think you should just blitz this vampire. Like you've got, you've got to take out the vamps. All these people who say take out the thralls are completely wrong. That's absolute shit tier Reddit thinking. You have to take out the vampires because the vampires can win the game, and the thralls can't win the game. Um, but never mind. Yeah, he did it in the he did turn three in a cellist fight. So he's, he is the poster boy for conceding his pull. And it was a completely reasonable concede, and he shouldn't have been banned at all. But he was con he was banned for like three seasons, which is like you know, twenty months with twenty weeks, which is insane. But you know that's the uh That's the that's the admins for you. <laughs> That's what they did. Not what I would have done, but who can say if they were wrong or wrong. <laughs> <Carry on! laughs> Carry on. Oh my god, that's a great sound effect, isn't it? Go, go I will one. fucking drop kick Jesus. Brilliant. Right, Bizzle, and like, and there's a and his opponent in the next round of the cup. Like, you can understand, you know, conceding the semi final. You could argue that conceding the semi final is bad, or the quarterfinals or whatever, but not the final. <laughs> it's not. It's not messing anything up. Then. And even if it does mess things up, so what? There's no need to ban them for like 20 weeks. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could argue, but you'd still be wrong, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the final has absolutely, yeah, the final was absolutely meaningless. And you could argue, you know, if there was prize money, and if there was like, you know, if the stream had like, you know, if it was an official stream by Cyanide that had like, thousands and thousands or millions of viewers then yes fair enough right with like millions of dollars in ad revenue then yes absolutely you would want a uh you would want a uh like an actual contest wouldn't you but it was just like you know i i don't think i even streamed that final so it was like maybe art streamed it maybe no one streamed it maybe nobody was even watching when it happened like apart from nick stream so like like i think it was probably just nick streaming himself right if anyone streamed it so like it was insane to be honest but there you go i mean blood ball three chalice is 16 people who've like you know got the top of the ladder so it's not going to be conceited at all is it yeah they want the chalice to be a spectacle but it doesn't matter does it <laughs> like it doesn't matter that's the thing it's not actually a spectacle like in real terms, it isn't a spectacle, is it? I mean, I know it's what I know it's what everyone here is watching and what I'm casting, but it's not actually a spectacle, is it? It's not worth banning people for th for tw like banning people out of the blue for twenty weeks is mental. Like there was no 
There was nothing in the rules saying if you concede in the playoffs, you will get banned harsher. Like, there was nothing in there. And they just decided on the first one. First person that did it. So once there's a rule for it, then fair enough. People can say it's a stupid rule and it shouldn't have happened, but it was particularly stupid that it just happened to somebody straight out. Terrible it was, in fact, I would say. Needs to get people over here where he's always fouling. You know. I guess you can just give up on the score. Foul. Great play. And dodge him out as well. Does Caprion just score now? I mean, probably. Lamps on defense are pretty good anyway. Obviously, he wants to blitz him so that he can uh, probably blitz from here. Yeah, so he can bite this one and clear the uh, clear the throw so that he can bite him if he scores. If he scores. That's what you thought too. Oh well, fair enough. Maybe somebody else did first, but whatever it was, the first person who did got totally fucked for no reason. Well, maybe he will stall. Nope. <laughs> I just thought Paul was the first one. I mean, I remember somebody was the first one and it was a joke that they got three seasons, so I just always equated it with Paul being in the final, but I guess I was wrong to do that. I guess you just didn't want the 50-50 roll for the KO and then like, you know, you can apple it thinking that you're gonna, you know, that you're gonna use him and then... He's gonna score him. Maybe, maybe he thought he was the one with the wizard. I literally thought he was the one with the wizard. I thought, I thought, I thought he'll score now because he's got the wizard. And then, and then I saw that Paul had the wizard, and I thought to myself, I'm glad I didn't say that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, just make sure he comes back from the KO. Plus, like, you could be, you could not, like, you could plan to keep him in the drive and then, like, change plans like a turn later, couldn't you? And then go for the score when you can. Like, obviously, if that, if that dodge had failed from the Lino, then the stall becomes a lot easier. Things like that, isn't there? Sit shit. You can, you can apple thinking something and then things change afterwards. Yeah, only tackle is, is pretty bad, I think. I would like to have seen another tackle on the team. Seeing as they're all about the balls. Oh, they vampires. I haven't played many games with vampires, but what I've found out is they're all about the balls. Ball sack, and you just need tackle for a ball sack, don't you? You just need it. Like it's, it's too critical. And I'm, I know there's wrestlers, and obviously you can you can gaze people and get wrestlers through as well. But I would definitely always try to have at least two vampires with tackle. Personally, I just like a single point of failure. I, don't like, I know it's not because you do have wrestle on the on the throws, right? But still, as far as one score, it's a single point of failure, isn't it? Which is not what you want. Hmm. 
he's going in for a one day here. Oh no, gaze him as well, of course. Oh, gets the five plus with the pro. Outrageous. Outrageous. Oh, diced. <laughs> Didn't even think of trying the five plus gaze. Wow. Outrageous. Outrageous five plus gaze. Which isn't that unlikely, is it? It's more like a 4 plus, I guess, with Pro. Probably should have just recovered him instantly. Yeah, just shuffle to here is probably. I mean, this is horrible now for the humans, isn't it? Because surrounded vampires everywhere. get people free because of all the sidestep as well. It's just absolutely horrible. Coming back here. Okay, there you go. Mm, I mean... The finger bus is kind of a thing, but obviously it's a lot less of a thing than you've got. No cases. Baldwin's gone. I'll tell you after this, Lord. Uh, two. Two thralls. But five vampires. <laughs> Which is really what matters the most. But that is a lot of players down, so the humans might be able to bez forward a little bit here, but then three turns. Tricky, you know, they've got a bit of breathing space here. But it's really hard to like protect the ball, move forward safely as well. Like, get that speed forward. I guess they don't have to get too far forward to be able to go nine and score. Possibly hand off as well. Get him in range. Didn't have to get him in range this turn. But I guess by having him in range, it means that. Um, he can score next turn, right? And because the vamps don't score a one turn. So I guess it is desirable to get in range this turn. Hello, Geeks Wargaming. Winner of the legendary triple th <laughs> triple threat <laughs> with extra arms bar and demon rick records. <laughs> Rerolls the wanna. Whew. Wow, follows as well. Oh my days. I don't know. That was a very bold move. I guess it stops the stall, but it doesn't matter because the vamps aren't going to one turn back, are they? I guess it gives you two chances of KOs, which is pretty good with four KOs out. But he could have blitzed. He could have just blitzed with this guy and got another stall turn stall out pretty easily anyway. I mean, it should be a turn of stall anyway, shouldn't it? I mean, there's only this vampire.
Mm. Yeah, no, it doesn't really it doesn't really stop the stall, does it? <laughs> I still think Blitz with the uh, strength is better. Get like more stuff in the way. Finally recovered the bonehead. About ten years too late. Bit of bit of an ordering mistake. <laughs> Did he have more time? Did he run out of time? Maybe there's only two minute turn times here, by the way, um, when this happened. So that may have made things a bit trickier for either side. Blitzes him. Got a blood stepper on the ball, but obviously it's still one in face six to score, so not end at world. You can block that off and two dean with rest. What? Okay, well that's terrible. Oh, let's just catch it. It's still terrible because you've got this one going as well. It's still terrible. This catcher comes round. This guy goes in. Uh, and then and then you blitz him with wrestle, right? That's the best play. I guess this gives you a tackle pom. Eh? This gives you a tackle pom hit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, three dice tackle pom hit, and then you just do the one in thirty six dodge. So this this my way is definitely correct for scoring a touchdown. This way is is definitely correct for causing a kaz, um, and probably the correct play for winning the game. To be fair. Well, I say probably almost certainly the correct play for winning the game. <laughs> but, you know, that was a 1 in 36, which probably didn't have to be made. Right? Good chance of not having to make that 1 in 36. Could have made the score more secure. But, you know, if you don't win 1 in 36 times, then get the cars it's worth it isn't it it's, it's interesting super interesting right so here we go um, Paul survives ooh that terrifying half to make it 1-1 one, one. maybe he's could have fouled a little bit at some point he's got two reserves all the thralls are back full 11 for Caprion I wonder if Paul should have like defended harder against the Wamps. Um, use the Wiz, but I guess using the Wiz to get your score and win 2 1 is good enough, isn't it? Against Vampires, it's very rare that you're going to be able to use the Wiz on defense. Oh wow. Pro! What a huge pro roll. Like that was massive. Holy moly. Holy moly, what a absolutely monumental pro roll that was. That was very greedy. <laughs> very greedy, because this is so much better than it would have been. Yeah. But I mean, it just dodges away, right? Could have been one forward here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could have been one forward with these two guys. Actually, wasn't as big as I thought because he can just dodge away. <laughs> He's such forward dodge. So, like, succeeding wasn't that good, but failing was pretty bad. Wasn't it? it looked better than it was when he did the second GF5. <laughs> Give us him. Wait, what? Run out of time, did he? Ran out of time because of the two minute turns. I guess he ran out of time because of the two minute turns. Oof. 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 That's harsh. That is harsh. Poor Paul. He won't be happy about that, will he? I mean, yeah, it's still on him, right? It's still on him. Like. 
okay, you expected it to be three minutes. On the first turn of the game, he should have gone, wait a minute, this is two minutes, I'm playing against vampires. Um, <laughs> I would say to the vampire coach, concede so that we can reset this. <laughs> we, and, and have three minute turns. I would have said instantly if it had been two minute turns against vampires, because fuck having only two minute turns against vampires. Um, I do think like the shorter turns favour vampires. It's interesting. Because, you know, like in uh, in Blitz Pit and that, the one minute turns, like, yeah, it's hard for the vampire coaches because they've got a million options and they've got to, like, sort it out in, in a minute. But it's really fucking hard to defend against them in a shorter time as well, so... <laughs> yeah, so I think if you're up against vampires in the cup and you're a bit slow <laughs> at Blood Bowl... <laughs> you're a bit of a slow player at Blood Bowl, you know. Then, and even I would might want to might want three minute turns against this horrendous vampire mat, like team. Like this is pretty fucking horrible to face. I want three minute turns sometimes against this for sure. I'm trying my hardest. Um. So yeah, I mean that that was on him to both adapt to the two minutes or to have tried to get it changed to three minutes. Yes, Bezel, that seems a completely fucking insane admin choice. <laughs> That's why I responded with no way, because it's like, what the hell? What's done is done, isn't it? Hello, Papa Piccio. It's on you to notice. At the end of the day, it's on the players to notice that it was three minutes when they started the game. And what's done is done. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's it. It's just like, it's not... It's just going to punish nice people, isn't it? You know, because... <laughs> Some people might, though, right, Carl Ancelotti? Some people might. Some people might have played this game and then Paul might say, this was so unfair... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, I'm not, I'm not casting aspersions on anybody here. But after this match, if you were Paul and you ran out of turn, turn on that time, you could be like, "Well, fuck this." Well, I want a replay then, right? And then if if Caprion's a lovely, nice pushover kind of fellow, he might go, "Yeah, you can have a replay." But I mean, he shouldn't. Like, no, <laughs> it just shouldn't be an option for anybody. Just because the people who made the competition messed it up, Carlangelo. Happens sometimes. They had uh, they had stadiums on for the first round of the cup a season or two ago. First two rounds, maybe even. Yeah, I mean that's okay, J5, because I didn't, I didn't win the tournament, so that's fine. I was shocked that I beat, uh, I beat Tom Schnees, but um, I then made a mistake against Kadenik, which you can't really do. And also beating, when I beat Tom, I, uh, I also lost my anti-elf player, which wasn't good. One in nine, no worse. Always seems to be the crucial crucial hits versus wrestlers only now, it's one thirty six. And this is tough, but it can still like you know, this is like this is real hard right now for Paul because he knows that he shouldn't he shouldn't have been two one down, right? Like if it was if he had one at times, so now he's gotta mentally compose himself here. But it looks like he should get to two two. Take it to all the time. <laughs> that sounds great, J5, yeah. 
That sounds just the sort of move that you'd want to do to uh, drum up interest in your uh, in your newly released video game. In fact. Should have moved this guy first, maybe. Is there a way through here to like gaze this guy and then hit the ball? All right, I guess you can move him. it's pretty hard to do anything. But I mean, this is I guess this is one of the turns where like there's a million options for the vampires. And it's like a, a hard turn for the fans because there's probably is like a million ways you could get to the ball. But do you really want to dick around thinking about that? Good question, Gurjani. I've already forgotten. Um, <laughs> the undead won uh, two one, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 2 0, 2 0. The undead one, 2 0. <laughs> one of them, I'm nearly certain. <clears throat> I mean, you can't, you're not even close to certain, J5, because they could, they, could they could just agree to replay for no reason. <laughs> they could just literally both agree to replay for no reason. <laughs> This is a nice, uh, this is a nice vampire kit, isn't it? This is how you know Caprion's a top vampire coach. He's found the best kit. They look wonderful. Mm, but being a bit too lax, I think, with the cage here. I can all he wants to, like, you know, hit. And put put pressure on as well, but you've really also got to defend the ball. It's, it's tricky, isn't it? It's tricky. It's tricky. I think we'll see a, a big steam in this turn. No, interesting. Not blitz this guy and then like gears a few of these and get right in the way. I think this would be nice. Blitz this guy. Mm. Oh, oh no! Could have also just gears this guy right and then come in with a wrestler. So did go for the ball. like this guy then if, the, if that was the plan I didn't like this guy really coming in here another surf <laughs> that's brilliant J5 <laughs> Absolutely classic J5. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of RNG with vamps. Like at all TVs, there's a lot of vamps. There's a lot of dice with vamps, but uh, especially low TVs, are very very swinging. I do enjoy playing. Them. Yeah, I really like going for the ball that turn. I would have. I would have blitzed this guy and, uh, you know, gone in. Kill the guy. I would have also tried to dodge this guy out as well at the end, either, either backwards or frontwards. But I would have tried to just get a line in here and then go for the ball the next turn. But... Oh, here we go. Is there a surf on? Fails to touch. Oh, there we go. He's gone. <laughs> Well spotted. Now 
that he made a surf, everybody can know he's good at blood pool. Yeah, still got the wizard. I mean, he needs it, but this should really be 2 1 to, to um, Caprion, right? Uh, that that turn running out, turn time running out. I mean, not, not to. Again, not to take anything away from uh, Caprion, but you know, like that was. That was brutal, that turn one out. Oh my god. Yeah, plan to, yeah, chain the bonus search. Yeah. Oh, well, he just goes in, wow. Goes in early. Very controversial. Very controversial. But you know there were there were some vamps there. But now you're pretty much committed to using the vamp the whiz to stop this and get to overtime. Like probably, right? Vamps aren't the best at two turning, but they're really hard to stop two turning if they get there. I know that sounds stupid, but like they haven't got the they haven't got the speed, but they've got all of the they've got everything except the speed, right? They've got the strength and the hypno gazes and everything. So like, oh no, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh. Oh. I mean, I guess they can just gaze past anyway, but I still rather, they, like, they're, they're slow, right? So, like, use the slowness to stop them getting too far behind you and use your speed to react to it rather than like maybe dwarves, this is a fair enough play, but I think for humans, I don't like this. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is incorrect. Incorrect. Because you can't screen, so, so giving them free movement up the field, like you cannot screen against them because they're vampires. You can just gaze people, can't they? It's like literally impossible to screen against them. Tuddy on the tackler. <laughs> Maybe he'll get to replay the game. <laughs> Puts in the reroll for the good luck is going for the going for the win in normal time. So do you fireball a bolt? A bolt. And it's still a love like I would have thought about the fireball there, honestly, just because there's a good chance that the, the ball does go into one of these positions and you're struggling to get it, aren't you? Yeah, you don't get you don't get leader rerolls back in RT, Caprion. <laughs> unless unless Blood Bowl Two is bugged, um, or incorrect. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Not by the rules, you don't. I mean, you could in Blood Bowl too, but you shouldn't. I don't know. I don't know if Blood Bowl Two has got it correct or not. Oh yeah, there's a guy here. So yeah, there is, so actually, so that makes the bolt a, a bit more tempting because there's the two people that can come back. That was a pretty good turn by Paul, actually. To be fair, after slating that defense, uh, it was a pretty good, a pretty good turn. But this looks a pretty easy uh, you can be my wingman anytime. thing to do. Bullshit. You can be mine. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Hancock. No spoilers, please. Viewers of Cock. Um, <laughs> we will be getting on to his game eventually, but we've got uh, we've got three more after this match to do. And then we'll probably look at Cox game. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 
Makes the pass, makes the catch. Makes the GFI, unbelievable. 3-2. 3-2 win in normal time for the Wampires. Unbelievable, Jeff. But who knows what would have happened had the turn not run out on that uh, on that turn. That was that was a, a crucial turn, wasn't it? Great effort from Paul. Great effort from Caprion. Great match. Thanks. Congratulations to Caprion. Commiserations to Paul. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.